Greetings, fellow Watford fans. Omar here with a Yuan's prediction. I am predicting that Watford will be promoted automatically at the end of this season in the championship. At the beginning of the season, in fact, before the season even began, I had predicted that Watford would be in and around those promotion spots. It'd probably be third or fourth, pushing toward the promotion spots, the automatic ones, and that they might be very much in the last few games of the championship season, looking to try to crack into that top two. Well, I'm going to, after these 21 games have gone by, make this prediction, and I will stick to it no matter what. Watford will be automatically promoted at the end of this championship season. That is my prediction, and I am sticking to it. Watford have a tremendous upside. They've got a lot of potential now going into these remaining 25 games of this 46-game championship season. They've almost hit the halfway point of the season as we are now in the World Cup break. And I do think that the upside is very much for Watford to go forward in this second portion of the season and get to that promised land, the Premier League, automatically. Because these first 21 games, in many of them, Watford played poorly. In fact, in most of these 21 games, Watford did not play well at all. There are probably three games where Watford were really at their best. The game against Luton, the game against Sheffield United to start the season, and the game at Stoke. Those three games particularly were, I think, the best performances that Watford have. There may be one other one that I'm not quite thinking of in the moment. But when you consider if it's the case that just three or four games this season for Watford have been stellar. And this is also without lots of players because they were all out due to injury, also due to a very competitive championship, and also with all of the distractions off the pitch at Watford, the sporting director, who hopefully will be replaced by the end of this month. The managerial situation, Rob Edwards should never have been fired. And of course, all the other things with the investors and perhaps not investors, and maybe they're getting investors and maybe they're not, and we'll see. Throughout all of that, plus the transfer rumors, plus the fact that João Pedro was perhaps going to be heading to Newcastle, never really materialized, thank goodness. And of course, with the whole situation with Hassan Kammer and the whole thing with Udinese and the money and all the rest of it, and the fact that Ismail Assar was heading out the door to Aston Villa, and then that deal fell through. All of that stuff went on, and still, with all the injuries, everything else I've talked about, Watford managed to get to fourth place after 21 games in a very, very competitive championship. Now, that says a lot about a team. A team that hasn't played at its best, a team that has been without a lot of very significant players, Imran Loser goes down hurt. He's going to be out for months. Tom Cleverley goes down hurt. He's going to be out for months. Raymond I goes down hurt. We haven't seen him for three months almost. I mean, with all of that, plus Dan Gosling now out for months. And, of course, we've not heard anything about Courtney Howes lately. He has been out now for, what, almost two months? And yet this team is in fourth place in a very competitive championship. That's why I think that their second portion of this season is going to be a good one for Watford, because I think they're going to begin to put things together under Slavin Bilic. In fact, they've already started to do that. Slavin Bilic had them winning three in a row. Slavin Bilic has five clean sheets with Watford, as best as I can recall at the moment, including the one against Bristol City. And Slavin Bilic has begun to give you an idea that he has got this team playing the right way. There's a personality to the team. When they play well, there is. And he'll have three and a half weeks to work out all the kinks. They'll be going to the south of Spain, and they'll work all these things out. They'll get some of these players back who've been out, and then they can kick on. And then when it comes to January, they'll probably make an adjustment or two here and there, but I don't think they're going to do anything big. Because when you get injured players back who've not played for a long time, it's like getting a brand new player. 
So why would Watford have to go out and do a lot in the transfer market? A, the market's going to be thin in January to begin with. And B, when you've got players who've been out for months and they suddenly come back in, it's like getting a new signing. So with a team, with a football club that's already cash-strapped as it is, you can't expect that they're going to get many people in to fill the key areas that we need filled in January. There'll be one or two that will come in, but not very many more than that. And by the time we get to January, we'll get some of these players back. There's an awful lot of players injured. And Watford will begin to get some of them back. And then once those players get to hit their stride, and once the system is bedded down for these Watford players, I think you're going to see a ruthlessness about this Watford team that we've not yet really seen this season, except for maybe in two games. And we will see. And I do stick to my prediction now. The brand new predict the, the brand new prediction made here on November the 16th, 2022 UK time is that Watford FC will be automatically promoted at the end of this championship season. This has been a Yuan's prediction.